This video comes through a request to do a brief look at Password Recovery Toolkit or PRTK. Just a heads up in full transparency, we no longer ship PRTK with the FTK suite, but if you still have a copy of it, you can use it. And it still works on modern or current, whatever you wanna call it, uh, Microsoft Word documents and Office documents and some PDFs and all that sort of stuff. So if that's what you want to use it for, PRTK will work for that. And so we'll show you a very quick and easy uh, walkthrough to do the basics with PRTK. So we have a Word document here. This is on the current version of 0365. Uh, you can see that it was created March 20th, 2024. And I even think I'm on the like tester uh, version of 0365, I get the features a little early that are in beta and that sort of thing. So uh, if this works, we should be pretty good. So I'll try to open this here. It asks for a password. Hopefully I remember what I put. It's not complicated. I think I did password, whoops, you got to type it right. Password one, two, just something simple, right? The, the point here is not to show whatever. It's just to show that the system can break a password if it gets it. Okay, if it, it, if it guesses it or whatever runs through the iteration. So we have this protected document, we have PRTK. The first thing we wanna do in any case, in any type of thing is build a dictionary. And what we can do with that is, I have this password.txt that just has you know this right here. And we can see that, hey, we have the password. And you're like, well, that's cheating. Well, the idea here is that from FTK, you would export your DT search list out of that from a computer or whatever. The other thing here is that you want to build stuff or bring in password lists from other sources. For example, I wrote a Python script that would scan wiki pages for like niche hobby type stuff so that if the person was into a certain video game or whatever, maybe their passwords align with stuff in that video game that wouldn't be like in a standard dictionary or something. So the idea here is to build a custom list. So we're pretending that this list was exported out of the word list from FTK. The way that it's formatted is just one word per line. Okay, so we have that there and we wanna generate a dictionary. I've already done it, so you would just browse out you would go, in this case, the desktop, grab that, bring it in and hit generate. Okay, it generates a list. I've already done it. It goes through, the bigger the text document, the longer it'll take. So once you get that set up, it'll always have that word list there. The other thing you can do here actually that I'll show you, let me bring this in, is the biographical dictionary. Again, this is where you, you again, you're kind of attacking the person more than the password. <laughs> out of context, sounds weird. So for this, the name, I might put Justin and add, and that goes in. And then, you know, I could put in a, a city, and so I might say Seattle or something, and, and that goes in. And once you've entered all this stuff in, it will generate, you click generate, and it's gonna generate a password list based on this information, okay? Helping you in break breaking that thing. So then what we wanna do is we wanna create a profile. And this is all initial setup, but we need to go through it here. So you wanna choose PRTK and do new from selected. And then from here, you wanna select your generated word lists. Okay, so like password here. And the one thing you wanna, and you may have multiple. So you'd select all the things like, I've generated green line word list as well. So you'd select that or something, right? Select all that you wanna do. Then one thing you want to do is come over to order and anything you have selected, this is the order in which it's going to try. The information about the user that has been tailored for the user who created the file is probably going to be your best data. So you want to start there and have that up. This stuff is just generic stuff that PRTK ships with. And so order your attack dictionaries in the order of what you think is most likely to contain a password or something like that. You can modify the rules. We're not really gonna, going to get into this. So for example, dictionary, it's going to modify your dictionary in these ways. Okay, so it's gonna take the words that are in your dictionary and it's gonna be, it's gonna add prefixes and followed by two digits and all these types of iterations through it. Just realize the more of these rules that you select, the longer it will take. 
but they can be uh, important. So just go through, take a read through, and it, it will tell you how it's going to use your dictionary to attack the, the target. Give it a name and click OK. Now I've already done that. It's called word test. Okay, so we're good there. So you've done the initial setup. We have the file. We can just take this file, drop it in. It's going to scan it. And what PRTK is doing is trying to figure out what type of file it is. So we want to make sure, don't forget to do this. You want to make sure you choose your word test or whatever you call it. Profile, you're going to click next. It's going to say, okay, hey, we got this file type. This is the file and this is what we're going to use to attack. Now, depending on the file, it may have a couple attacks. PRTK in its current condition, you're most likely just going to be using this against Word documents, PDFs, maybe some zips. So at this point, you go ahead and click finish and it's going to start running against it. And we've found the password. We see it here. Obviously, super simple, a more complex password is probably going to take longer, of course. The idea here is just to show that a current created Microsoft Office file can be hit. So at this point, right click on it, click decrypt, and it will add this decryption thing on front of it. You can always rename it to whatever you want. We'll click save and it kicks it out. We can open it now without putting in a password. We don't need to save it. That's the basics, the, the bare bones basics on how to use PRTK with a Microsoft Office document. PDF, if you load in a PDF, again, it's gonna detect that file and run a PDF strike against it. Those types of things. But again, just the basics and the flow and some considerations. You want to create dictionaries based on the user, their behavior, their hobbies, etc., to give you a good chance. And then one last thing is that any password that PRTK finds, it will save in its golden dictionary and also run that against the future documents. So any reused passwords will actually be run first against it. So again, uber basic of PRTK, but hopefully it was helpful in getting things up and going and some considerations. Thanks for watching.